What's up, world? Can you see that? Oh, boom! Oh my god! Ooh, this is Rami. She is um, a rat we have as a pet. I know that that probably grosses a lot of you out. Had a little accident today in which her tail became <laughs> slammed in the door. So I uh, was just trying to maybe do a how-to video. I called my friend Kirk. I'll link to his videos if I ever put this video up. Who knows a lot about uh, reptiles and snakes and stuff and I was like, well, their tail is <laughs> pretty similar to that. So I wanted to see if he knew what to do. And he actually had a friend who knew about pet rats. And I was like, great, you know, pretty much anything that you can tell me at this point. So I'm looking for Neosporin and a bandage. And then I guess we'll shoot this video up on me doing this. All right, step one, sanitize. Sorry. Sanitize the area <laughs> and your hands. I'm gonna be wiping off the surgical operating room here with a Clorox wipe, because that's probably the best way to clean the shit off. All right, included in step one was sanitize your hands. I already did that, so that will not be on the tape. What we are going to do now, step two, is grab the Neosporin and some Q-tips, if you have Q-tips, and just squeeze a little on the tip here, all right? Right onto the Q-tips so you're not infecting the actual tube. You know, rats are interesting pets and all, but they get dirty, you know, they're, they're dirty, so. After the bleeding is stopped, this is what I'm, these are my medical doctor <laughs> advice tips. After the bleeding is stopped, thanks Rami, you just dab a little from the Q-tip onto the tail, all right? That's gonna help, obviously, just like it does in humans, prevent infection and make sure that, <laughs> Make sure that none of the um, germs get in there. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna throw the fuck up. Use the clean side of the Q-tip. Get some more out of there. <laughs> Put some more on the flip side of the tail. Make sure you cover it, obviously, so that you're sure you got everything. That's good. You okay, baby girl? Step three, I would assume. I don't know if she's gonna chew this off. Who knows? But it's the smallest one I could find. So you're gonna wanna take the bandage and apply it to the grossness that is your pet rat's tail. And hopefully that'll prevent any kind of dirtiness from getting in there. Again, just like humans and then viola you've hopefully helped your rat get over her injuries successfully